People with autism face many social, communication, and behavioral challenges. In our project, we aim to develop a more convenient tool to screen for autism. Autism screening involves a questionnaire to assess if an individual requires specialist referral. Having to answer long questionnaires can be taxing. In addition, inaccuracies may arise when individuals have difficulties understanding the questions. Hence, we aim to reduce the number of questions in autism screening questionnaires required to achieve the same result. We obtained three data sets of autism questionnaires result for different age groups, toddlers, children, and adults. The data sets consist of responses to 10 questions used in autism questionnaires. We take various approaches to reduce the number of questions required for screening autism. In our brute force approach, we tested every possible combination of questions. However, this method is computationally intensive and hard to scale with large number of features. Hence, we focus on analytical feature selection techniques. This can be grouped into three categories. We use wrapper methods such as recursive feature elimination, where the least useful features are eliminated through recursion. Filter methods such as chi-square test identifies features that do not change the output. Lastly, we use embedded methods such as random forest to find a feature that can best differentiate autistic individuals. Instead of focusing on the accuracy of our machine learning model, we have decided to use the F1 score metric, which is a combined measure of precision and recall. Precision is important as we want to ensure a positive result is accurate. Recall is important as we want to be able to detect all individuals who have autism. We reduce the number of questions to two, seven, and eight for toddlers, children, and adults respectively, while maintaining a 90% F1 score. An insight we have gathered from the analysis of our data is that some questions are not as useful in identifying autistic individuals. For example, an equal proportion of autistic and non-autistic toddlers were indicated to stare with no apparent purpose. This question was constantly ranked among the lowest in feature importance. This also made us recognize the need for domain knowledge when carrying out feature selection. There are a few questions that serve a purpose in capturing the age cases on the autism spectrum despite not being ranked important. This is why we had decided on a high F1 score of 90% so as to avoid missing out the age cases. In conclusion, we have managed to reduce the number of questions required for autism screening. Thank you.